No. Oh my gosh, it tastes like schnitzel. What is going on everyone? It's Kelly here and today I'm gonna do a vlog of my day. I have some errands to run and later in the video I'm gonna go ahead and set up this aquarium for these sea creatures. They're prehistoric. I used to do it all the time when I was a kid and I wanna bring it back to my channel and show Gabe's kids as well, Luke and Jake, how cool they are when they hatch. But first things first, I wanna give a huge shout out to Paul Thigpen because Check out my new truck. Wait, I'm gonna close your eyes first. All right, y'all ready? Boom, look at that beauty. Brand new, 2021 GMC Sierra 1500. Absolutely love this truck. It's my dream truck. Redneck, you wanna come in? Come on. Oh, under my legs. It's a good thing you're a small dog. Oh. He wants to go for a joy ride. What are you thinking? Oh, depressed. Thanks. But this truck is everything I need. It's nice and big for traveling because Blue Gabe and I do a lot of road trips. As you can see, there's a lot of space in the back compared to my Toyota Tacoma, which was a little bit smaller. What What's you up? <laughs> Blue Gabe. Come on, Redneck. Oh, honey. I know. <laughs> He thinks he's going somewhere, so I'll just leave the door open. But Blue Gabe and Jake are taking the boat out now and they're gonna go do some fishing, uh, maybe snapper fishing, they don't know yet. The weather in Florida has been terrible. I mean, it's been blowing 20 to 30 like this entire week. Blue Gabe and I went to Fort Lauderdale and as you can see, the palm trees are completely blown over. The ocean is angry and we're just trying to figure out videos right now because the weather has been so bad. But I got a question for you guys. We have been having trouble catching blue crabs. I don't know why, because everyone else is catching them but us. But these are the traps that we're using. I don't know if you guys have a recommendation for traps or I have no idea what we're doing wrong, but we have six of these smaller traps and there's an entrance on each side. And then we have four of these bigger traps, which the bigger traps have been catching a lot of the female blue crabs, but the small traps we have yet to catch a crab in. Let me tell y'all a fun fact about these traps right here. I've tripped and fell on more crabs than these traps can catch. I don't know what it is, but Jake and I are going fishing. See y'all. Toodles. See you later. I got a day to myself. <laughs> But yeah, so in the comments below, if you guys have any recommendations on blue crab traps, let us know because we're struggling. We've set the traps out in Mosquito Lagoon on the east coast of Florida, Crystal River on the west coast of Florida, and twice in Jupiter, Florida. We don't know. We have no idea. We're using perfect bait. I don't know. We're stumped. But right now, Gabe and Jake are leaving. And I think my mom's gonna come over, I'm not sure yet. Y'all right. leaving? Hey. We'll be back like the electric bill. <laughs> Toodles, good luck. Ooh. Look at that big old blue gabe advertisement right there. Redneck, no, you can't go. Oh, redneck, redneck. There is going to be a lot going on in this video setting up a prehistoric sea creature aquarium. We are going to Nautical But Nice, which is this really cool uh, like nautical shell store in Stewart. We gotta get two new shells for the hermit crabs and I'm gonna try to get them switching over. Hopefully I can do it, fingers crossed. Um, a little bit of Mailbox Mondays. I have four, four packages and a couple letters in there I wanna show you guys. And, and I'm gonna make some turkey Schnitzel. Now, if you don't know what schnitzel is, it is a German dish. It's usually made with pork. Um, the pork is beaten out very flat, and you kind of make like a 
schnitzel. <laughs> it's hard to explain, but I've never done it with turkey. I've never seen it done with turkey. So I'm gonna experiment a little bit and make turkey schnitzel at the end of this video. So right now we're gonna go on the back porch and set up the little aquarium. We aren't going to the back porch. We are doing it inside because it's cooler in here and there's better lighting. So this is what I'm putting together. It's a prehistoric, they're prehistoric sea creatures called triops. Triops. I always forget the name. I'm like, it's try something. And the reason that that key term try is in there is because they have three eyes. Um, I, this stuff used to just intrigue me when I was a kid and it still does today. So I want to put this together for Luke and Jake and myself because I haven't done this since I was probably like eight. So I know it looks a little messy here. I'm going to do a quick run over of the stuff on the table. So we have our friends from Duck Creek. They sent us um, a hat with their logo on it and as well as these calls that they make. And we, need, we needed these so bad. They're butt calls. Beautiful, beautiful calls. I'm new to this, so I'm gonna see if I can do it. <laughs> so we'll use these while deer hunting to call in some bucks. The, I mean, when Gabe opened these, he was like, wow, these are some really nice calls. And it's called Duck Creek Custom Calls. Our next gift on Mailbox Mondays is from the Pug family in Australia. So cute, I love dogs and coffee cups, so this is perfect. They said, in appreciation of Blue Gabe's and Kelly's work put into doing videos, and the shout out you might give our channel. What's your channel? The Pug Family? Is that their channel? Shout out to the Pug Family. Um, and they just wanted to give something to us or somebody that we could use from Josh. Thank you so much, the Pug Family. Our next gift in Mailbox Mondays is from Cousins. Sorry if I'm butchering the word, I think it's Cousins. And they sent us some seasonings here, a uh, poultry seasoning and a chocolate seasoning slash rub, totally gonna be using that. I love chocolate. And we have a Bayou Sweet Heat Barbecue Sauce. Thank you so much, Cousins. They even gave us a recipe for Cousins Shrimp and Grits. We will definitely have to try this on the channel, either mine or Blue Gabe's. Up next is my husband Curtis and I made this gaff for y'all, custom with the blue. We needed a gaff, let me tell ya. Check this bad boy out. I absolutely love, I wanna say it's bamboo. The bamboo holding with the blue grips. I mean, this is, this is sick right here. So thank you so much to Curtis, my husband Curtis and I. Oh, Rudy. Rudy, Curtis and Rudy Caraway. Last but not least, we have two letters here and the letters will be on the YouTube stories. Um, we have one from Joe Pizza Racing from Daytona Beach. Daytona Beach and Racing, I guess that goes together. That's the Gabriel Arrington, so I will leave that there for Gabe. And we have one from Mark here uh, that, will, that will be on the story as well. Thank you guys so much for whatever you send, letters, gifts um, that we receive at our PO box. We appreciate it very well. If you guys have a small company that you want us to shout out, just go ahead and send it to the P.O. box. Any of the links for the sauce, the seasoning, um, the custom made duck calls will be in the link below in the description. So go ahead and check that out if you're interested. But right now we're going to get to our creatures. You guys see this right here? This is Blue Gabe's new baby that we are going to be bringing to the Keys to try to deep drop, catch a swordfish, catch some deep... Deep snapper, deep snapper, some like vermilions. I'm just trying to move it out of the way. Vermilions, um, aka bee liners or yellow eye snapper, pretty much whatever you can catch in like a thousand plus feet of water, that reel will do it. <clears throat> so when you open your box, you have this little tank here. You have your sand, the eggs, and brine shrimp food for when they hatch. Now, I went ahead and poured the distilled water in there. I just got a jug of distilled water from Publix. It's very important to use the distilled water because 
I've done this with spring water and purified water and sink water and it doesn't work. So the distilled water is the way to go. I'm gonna go ahead and put this outside and then add the eggs. It's very important to have the temperature of the water at 80 degrees Fahrenheit and make sure it gets about 12 hours of sunlight. So I have it on my little plant stand here. I'm gonna go ahead and add the egg. Just like that. I don't know if you guys can see it, but if you see, oh, it's so hard. <clears throat> I'm not sure what the white stuff is, but there's little tiny brown dots and I'm pretty sure those are the eggs. So the eggs should hatch in about 24 hours. They live from one to four months. And this is a super cool activity for if you have kids, teenagers, even if you're an adult. I mean, I love this stuff. I think this is the coolest thing ever. And I don't even, I don't understand how the eggs can sit on a shelf and survive. And once they're added to water, boom, they'll hatch within 24 hours. So the sand and everything, just hold on to that because you'll add the sand in about, let's see, three weeks, I think. Yeah, so you'll add the sand in about three weeks and you can start feeding them after three days once they hatch. When they hatch, they'll be like these tiny little white, like tadpole looking things. They'll be pretty hard to see, um, but they grow really fast. You'll be surprised. Like you'll leave the tank out there for like three, four days. And then you'll be like, oh my gosh, they're like triple in size. So if you guys know what the YouTube story is, check back on the YouTube story because I'll be doing a little updates with their growth. Um, and then I'll add them into another YouTube video down the road of a vlog or a Mailbox Monday video with the kids' reactions. But stay tuned because I'm super excited to show you guys their full growth once they hit adulthood. They almost look like little horseshoe crabs with like antennas. And then they just like scurry around in the water. I don't know, they're just the coolest thing to me. But right now I'm waiting for my mom and we're gonna go ahead and go to Nautical But Nice, which is one of my favorite stores, and get two shells for these two hermit crabs because they need new shells. They're being shy. They're there. They need some new homes. I will see you guys at Nautical But Nice. All right, we just made it to Nautical But Nice. Check out the outside of this store though. Can you tell it's very nautical? All right, mama, you ready? Ready. We need two crab shells and we're probably gonna buy some more because I have a shopping addiction. Oh, there it is. All right, ready? you guys we have our shells of course we got to get the starbucks i didn't get a coffee surprisingly but i just not in the mood for coffee for once in my life so i just got a little bit of a refresher we are headed back to the house now we're gonna go ahead and see if this crab likes the shells that we picked out all right so before i put the shells into the tank i'm gonna set up two gopros and see if i can't get the hermit crabs actually changing shells so let's go ahead and turn this on. Dun, dun. 
The GoPro 9, honestly, I never use it. All right, it's rolling. There's one. And two. do that no get off the GoPro oh my gosh they're bored in really there. they need a new toy oh. oh no come on that gosh well I think I drop a shell in <laughs> yeah I think he's looking for a shell I think that's a good sign all right I'm gonna move you here oh my gosh he's coming to attack it Leave it alone, it's gotta film you. All right, so I'm gonna go with these three shells first. Pop them in there. Get all the air out. There's one shell. There's another shell. And let's see, this one over here. All right, that should be good. Okay, so our cameras are in place, our three shells are in there, and now it is just a waiting game. We'll see what happens. Listen, beggars cannot be choosers. You have three shells to pick from. I thought he was gonna switch into that one, and he backed out, but he's still checking out that shell. Crabs like GoPros better than shells. No. So it looks like the first thing they do is stick their head all the way inside of the new shell to check it out. And then they take the shell and spin it around, feeling like every aspect of the shell. I don't know if they're smelling it, feeling it, or what they're doing. Getting a feel for how big the shell is, maybe how heavy it is. This one. Looks like he likes that one. <gasps> he transferred! <gasps> Yay! Oh my goodness! I'm so happy! <gasps> Look at him! Oh, he's always oh, in the big one. And just like that, both of them transferred shells. The bigger one went into the white shell, and the little guy went into this shell, the fourth shell we added. 
Aww. The white gel looks massive. Okay, so as you guys can see, the Hermit Crab shell replacement was a success. But right here, I have some butter in my pan. I got it nice and hot. I went ahead, cleaned the two turkey breasts that we had from our hunting days a couple months ago. Put saran wrap over them, cut them really thin. And I didn't have a meat tenderizer, so I just used my knuckles. And I just beaded it out really thin. Beaded it? Beaded it out really thin. I'm gonna use some mayo. Mayo will make any meat, chicken, turkey, fish, more uh, juicy, I would like to say. Some mayo. Mm. And it's gonna help with the breadcrumbs stick to it. Now schnitzel is a German dish. My Oma has made schnitzel ever since I was a kid growing up. That was like the dinner she would make. Even Blue Gabe loves schnitzel. Go ahead and say schnitzel. <laughs> thistle. Thistle. He always says thistle. What are you making so much noise over there? Bringing in your camera gear. Did y'all even catch anything? Yeah, we caught fish. We went fishing, didn't we? What'd you catch? <laughs> Jake will have to explain to you. Uh oh. Oh. So in this mixture here, I have some panko, plain breadcrumbs, which as my Oma would say, panko. I'm like panko? Panko. <laughs> I have some uh, cornflakes and some regular breadcrumbs. No seasonings? Oof. Nope, just salt and pepper. No seasoning. Well, I put some black pepper in there too, but I'm gonna add salt afterwards. This got a little too hot while I was talking. So the butter's nice and hot. Now we're gonna go ahead and lay our turkey in there. Our turkey schnitzel. The key to schnitzel is butter. Maybe every German dish, I don't know, but you should see my mama when she makes schnitzel. She has a thing of butter about this big, like a big tote. But she does make a lot of schnitzel because we always want leftovers. All right, we're just gonna let that cook and I'll see you guys back when this is all done. Last but not least, we're gonna add a little bit of sea salt. Is that your special sea salt? This is one of them, yes. <laughs> I'm starting to realize you have many special sea salts. I do because each one is different. I actually ordered a new one. <laughs> oh, so we have more coming. <laughs> we do. So this one is like little like clusters, like little chunks. And there's another one that actually I think a fan recommended to me. I saw it in the comments below and it was like a flake. And I'm like, oh, I love that one because it, it adds like a crunch to your food. Yeah, you know I've fished all day and haven't ate anything but that one peanut butter and jelly you packed me. Well, it's a good thing I packed you a peanut butter and jelly. Yeah, but I got some hot turkey right here I want to bite out. All right, you get first, first dibs. You might have COVID, you don't have a mask on. Should I pull a blue game and eat it? <laughs> <laughs> All right, here. I don't even have my hat on and don't even care. <laughs> Looks like you had a rough day. Her I Oma have... makes this stuff, but out of pork. Oh my God, she sent me three pieces. Oma, we love you. Literally, she's the best cook ever when it comes to this style of food. All right, baby, you can go do something else if you need to. <laughs> I want to try this. I have no idea what this turkey schnitzel is going to be. Now I do, after I cooked it, the meat kind of like rose up a little bit. So I would beat it a lot thinner than I normally would. With a, you, the way to do it would be with a meat hammer tenderizer. Yeah. She beats it down real thin. Yeah. I only had my fist. I highly recommend this for any, I highly recommend this for any of you hunters. Mm. Can I try it? You better make you some more. <laughs> I do. I have two in there. I have a bunch here. The cornflakes are definitely good. Oh, I love using cornflakes. Oh my gosh, it tastes like schnitzel. Where's Jake? That's crazy. Jake! Don't tell him where he's at. It literally tastes like a thicker piece of schnitzel. Oh my God. Is that butter? That really, seriously? 
And it's not because I'm hungry right now. That is one of the best things you'll ever put in your mouth. Mmm. That German cooking. And it's all organic. <laughs> oh, it is, yes. Except for these. These turkeys were actually eating out of cow poop from a feedlot. So really, technically, it's not organic because what they were eating wasn't organic. But are my hairlines kicking? It's it's looking. Why funny. you put it right down the middle? You mean... <laughs> it's already farted down the middle. <laughs> we got our butts handed to us. Let me just show you real quick how rough it was today. Yeah, it was that rough. I guess I should make some more, huh? All right, you guys, I'm closing out this video. Hope you all enjoyed this vlog video of just everything I did today. It was a pretty eventful day, to say the least. Now, those triops, the little brine shrimp, horseshoe-looking crab prehistoric creatures should be hatching in about 24 hours. So stay tuned, and I'll show you all those once they hatch. But right now, we're ending this video. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe, hit the thumbs up, check out Blue Gabe and all his glory Whoa. as well. And we'll see y'all in the next one.